Hello friends, this is last part of JSON file CRUD operation using PHP script. And in this part, we will show you, how to delete or remove, data from JSON file. By using PHP script with Ajax jQuery, and ask confirmation, before delete data. In previous part, we have already show you, how to update or edit, JSON file data. By using PHP script, with bootstrap model, Ajax and jQuery. Now for delete or remove JSON file data, first we have go to index.php file. And here, first we have to create, delete button in each row of data. So in load data function, here in action key, we have to create, delete button, in each row of data. So here we have to write, button type is equal to button. After this, we have to write, class is equal to, button, button warning, button small and delete. After this, we have to write, data id attribute is equal to, data count index dot id. So here, we have store id key data, under in each delete button, for get particular array of index data. And in button text, we have to write delete, so this code will create delete button, in each row of data. Now here in the browser, we have to refresh web page, and after refresh of web page. Here we can see that delete button has been created, in each row of data. So when we have click on this button, then first it ask for confirmation. With OK and cancel button, if we click on OK button, then it will send Ajax request, for delete data from JSON file. So for this, here we have to write, dollar with document selector, with on function, with three parameter. In first parameter, we have to write click event, in second parameter, we have to write. Delete button class delete, and in last parameter, we have to write, callback function. So when we have click on the delete button, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this, first we want to get data id attribute value, so for this, here we have to write id variable is equal to dollar the selector with data function and under this we have to write it so this code will fetch data id attribute value and store under this id variable after this we have to write if statement and condition we have to write confirm function and under this we have to write message like are you sure you want to delete this data so when we have click on delete button then dialog box will pop up, on web page, with OK and cancel button. So if we have click on OK button, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, we have start, create Ajax request. So in Ajax first option, we have to write, URL option, with value like, action.php. So it will send Ajax request, sent to this action.php file. In second option, we have to write method, and value, we have to write post. So it will use post method, for send data to server. In third option, we have to write data, and here we can define, which data, we want send to server. So here we have write, action variable with value delete, and it variable value. In fourth option, we have to write, data type, and in value, we have write json. So in Ajax request, it will receive data, in JSON data type. Lastly, we have to write, success callback function, with data argument. So this function will be called, if Ajax request completed successfully. And it will receive data from server, which we can get from data argument. Under this function, first we want to display, success message, on the web page. So here, we have to write, dollar with span tag id message, with HTML function. And under this function, we have to write, division tag, with class is equal to alert, and alert success. And between this tag, we have to write, data dot success, so it will display, success message, on the web page. After this, we want to display, remaining JSON file data, in jQuery data table. So first we want to destroy jQuery data table, so for this, here we have to write, dollar with table it sample data, with data table method, dot destroy method. So this code, will destroy existing data table instance, so now want to load, new data table instance. So for this, we have called load data function, so it will reinitialize jQuery data table. 
and it will fetch remaining JSON file data, and load in jQuery data table plugin. After this, we want to remove success message after 5 seconds, so for this. Here we have to write, set timeout method, with callback function. Under this function, we have to write, dollar with span tag id message. After this, we have to write, html function, with blank value. And after this, under this function, we have to write, 5000. So it will hide success message, from web page, after 5 second. So here, our jQuery code is ready. Now we have, go to action.php file. And here we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Dollar post action variable value is equal to delete, so if this condition true. Then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, first we want to get JSON file data. So here, we have to write, dollar file data variable is equal to, JSON decode function. And under this function, we have to write, file get contents function, and under this function. We have to write, dollar file variable, so this file get contents function, get data from file. And then after this, JSON decode function, will convert into an array, which is store under, this dollar file data variable. After this, we want to get array, index key value, so for this. Here we have to write, dollar key variable is equal to, array search function, with two argument, so in first argument. We have to write, dollar post it variable, and in second argument. We have to write, array column function, with two argument. So in this function, first argument, we have to write, dollar file data variable. And in second argument, we have to write, it key name. So this function will return, all it key column value. And this array search function will return, match it key index number. So after get array key index number, now we want to delete a remove, matched key index number data. For for this, here we have to write, php and set function, so this function will delete variable value. So under this function, we have to write, dollar file data variable, with dollar key variable index. So it will remove this array of index data, from json file. Now we want to write, remaining data, in json file, so for this, here we have to write. File put contents function, with two parameter, so in first parameter, we have to write. Dollar file variable, and in second parameter, we have to write, json encode function. And under this function, we have to write, dollar file data variable. So this function will convert, php array data, to json string, and data will be write in json file. After this, we want to send response to ajax request, so for this, here we have to write. Echo statement, with json encode function, and under this function. We have to write array, with key success, and value, we have to write, data deleted. So it will send this data to ajax request, and this message will be display, on the web page. After data has been deleted or removed, from json file, so here our code is ready, now we have check output in the browser. Friends, here first we have refresh web page, and after refresh of web page. Here we can see that, delete button has been display, in each row of data. Now we want to remove this row of data, from json file, so we have to click, on delete button. So after click on delete button, here we can see that, confirmation dialog box has been pop up, on the web page. With ok and cancel button, so now we have click on ok button. So after click on ok button, here we can see that, delete data success message has been display, on the web page. And here on web page, we can see that, remaining json file data has been load in jQuery data table. So in this part, we have show you, how to delete or remove data from json file, by using php script with ajax. And here, we have completed, video tutorial series, on how to perform php crud operation, with json file. By using ajax and bootstrap model, so if you have used json file for store data, in place of database. So this tutorial series will help you, because here we have step by step show you, how to perform php crud operation, with json file. So here we have stopped this video tutorial, and we will meet in next some new interesting video tutorial.